Hey guys, um, Dustin, I just bought um, the Soul Guard. My hair is really messy. So I've just bought the Soul Guard. I'm gonna be doing some traveling this summer. I'm um, I'm a registered nurse in Florida. I picked up a travel assignment in Virginia, the University of Virginia. I currently work in a detox setting outpatient, but I'll be going back to my stomping grounds, but in a different hospital. So this is the Soul Guard. Um, I just got the black one. I feel like I could put stickers on it. It looks pretty nice. You guys will see. Um, edges, looks like that's covered. That's always a problem. Um, I currently use Samsonite, um, which is a great, it, it's, it's a really good uh, luggage, but the problem is that it's not mine. It's my parents. So I've always just kind of borrowed it from them. And what really attracted me to Soul Guard is that it has the closet. I arrived in Virginia, oh, sorry, I, I arrived in Virginia on Saturday. Sunday I'm off, Monday I go straight to work. And that's, that Monday is the same day that I'm actually going to be, the Monday is the same day that I'm going to be working. So, uh, orientation. So I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of time to unpack and you know iron clothes so we're gonna see how things fit um and i will be doing another video when i get to the hotel see how things maintain their lack of wrinkles so yeah all right so i got this the closet hamper out um no there's no straps oh there it is that's upside down yeah, there it is. So, this top is, a, is adjustable. It adjusts to where you can tighten it, um, but I do really like that it's got the strap because then you can strap it to the closet. Um, I don't have to buy a separate, a separate closet organizer for the place I'm staying. I think, I think it's the place I'm staying is furnished. Um, shout out to Furnished Finders. Uh, they they really cater to travel nurses, and my recruiter was the one who told me about it. Um, I'm guessing this is what's that has to be like in a 90 degree angle or something. I'm guessing is what makes it tighten up like that. Right, let's loosen that up. I'm going to fast forward and speed up my video and pack it. Alright, so we kind of have it set up a little bit here. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah. Uh, the issue I was kind of having was this kept on tipping to the back. I, I believe that if we put more weight on it, it's going to be all right. I'm kind of hoping to tip this way, but I believe I can. We'll just have to see. Hmm. When I pack suitcases, I usually roll them up and I put rubber bands on them, but that, nope, that's international flights. We're not even going to go there. So, I put it on there. It looks like it's pretty, um, you fold it three times, but there's some, there's like an inch of room there, which later on you'll we'll probably have a good three inches. Um, on the side, which we can obviously put more shirts in. Looks like it's gonna be a good, um, it's gonna be a good sit. And over here, I'm thinking that I could probably put my bath stuff. If it fits in here nicely, oh, it's gonna be nice. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I think I can use my foot. I think I fit everything. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, I guess we had a little oopsies earlier. Um, this thing slipped out, um, and the whole thing almost came down, but I caught it. Thing, gosh. Sometimes these handles, I don't know how strong these handles are, but once this breaks, it's all down. It's all down. He'll heal from layer. But um, another idea I would probably uh, request, I guess, is put rubber on here so it's not slipping away. Um, yeah, rubber slipping away. Um, and some sort of 
magnet or maybe like even a magnet that'll hold this back here um and you know that we like our brake system in the hospital for our carts and our wheelchairs um that'll keep it from moving but that's just vip status right there you know all right to be continued. but other than that um we'll see i'm going to compress it now and go from there all right so i'm gonna be leaving in about an hour or so um i don't know well i guess i guess i could recharge stuff seems like it's connected to yeah it's connected to the um to this suitcase itself but let me see um oh okay the usb so i'm guessing it's going to connect to a wall plug charges the thing it's kind of cool i mean i don't really need it i feel like the phones now are pretty uh are pretty good on the battery um we'll figure out what that's for this is the laundry bag that um came that wrapped this one so i'm just gonna keep that in there medications are books i definitely have space on the side for my notebooks um and then they said to just unzip this if your luggage is going to be very thick and width well, i probably don't even need to it's got a good give to it depression on there and i believe that's gonna well, let's just try it so we've got some face off it's like one of those things i'll probably have to sit on and lock it's pretty thick um i'm just gonna have to see if that fits a little bit better then just a trial of clothes, I guess. Oh, oh, wait, I remember. So this one hooks up to here. That way you can squish it this way. Hopefully that'll depress my luggage a little bit. So hang on tight. Oh, the best thing is to, well, it's gonna be really heavy. Oh, wait. Let me zip it first. All the compartments. All the compartments. I'm gonna zip it up. That's the way we could fold. I'm gonna get better. Once it gets heavy, it's a little bit hard to maneuver, like, especially the front. But, so, now that it's all folded, I'm going to, I'm probably, it's probably best to lay down, go from there just to keep everything insane, I think. Um, too late. See if I have any extra room for toothpaste and some uh, notebooks that I have and my eyeglasses. Um, I did bring a little waste bag with me just in case. I've got this little box thing, so we'll see if that um, that will fit there. Other than that, I have my slippers and yeah, I think these are going to fit on the sides or just the front in any way. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. that in. Hopefully we'll press it a little bit. Hopefully it's not even reaching. We'll see. This is what I get for packing really thick stuff. Okay, I mean, uh, it's pretty strong. It's a button, just so you know. But it seems like it's pretty strong. Pretty strong button. It's like a hook. Magnet. It's not a, uh, it's just like a flat, there's no hook to it. Okay, earlier it's fine. It looks like, oh, well, I, I wouldn't want to adjust it. If I'm on the bottom, you can put more items in there. I don't want it to be. I'm just getting my legs on them. Sit on it for a little bit. I'm about 130 pounds. So, let's see. Did, it, did the job a little bit. I think I just have to sit on here. Hey! Just make sure you lock it so your, your underpants don't explode. Why is it not locking? Oh, that's an issue. It's not locking. So that locked. That side locks. Notebooks are probably going to be on the other side. Um, 
medication. Definitely put it in there. Just rather not carry this with me because I want my. The waste bags not have as much items. Let's see. Though. This is how it looks. I'm gonna guess that I can go there. Oh yes, I can go there. I mean, I could probably even do this thing flat right there. I'm seeing my leg again. This is just a knee thing. I forgot to put in the shipped items. Boom. Lots of room on the left. Like, I could fit a good size book in there. Um, I'm gonna put my ear warmers. Uh, it's not cold in Virginia. It's actually raining and it's 75 degrees. So, I'm gonna this up. That one won't fit. Like that, so. That's fine, because the width of it is pretty high. Um, gloves. I don't want to use these gloves. Oh, look, there's space in there. Um, this is the gadget I use for my back. I keep my, my back straight. It looks good. Um, TSA is probably gonna be like, what the heck is this? But this is just an exercise band. I use like that, but I mostly use it for my back. You guys might be able to tell that I already have back problems. And I'm gonna go back to the hospital setting. I, it's been about three years. Um, I've been working outpatient uh, with, with a psych, and it's outpatient psych, most, uh, all of it's mostly detox from poly substance use um, here in Florida. The summertime, it gets very, um, it's a per diem job. So I, I, um, I work the minimum, the minimum requirement is two shifts per month. Um, minimum requirement is two shifts per month. So I'm able to leave and I just let my boss know. It's like, you know, I'm probably not, I'm coming back like it's a per diem job. I doubt that they're gonna get squished. I'll probably put this in my waste bag, my toothbrush on my waste bag. And this is just anatomy stuff that I always have in my room. I'm gonna put that in here. Anatomy, whatever else for these stuff. It's like it hanging on the wall. It's like my that's like my you know, design for my room because I love interior design. That's it. Whatever. Um now it's time for the closing. I'm gonna set the camera. I'll try and close it and see how it does it come. Looks like this thing is it. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm like so scared that this is gonna be fancy. Accessory? Yeah. yeah, it's gonna close. It's gonna close. Oh, it's gonna take those in. I like this. I should have packed those up earlier. Dude, this is like so tight. Oh, shoot. Another one. Like, I'm literally, I'm like putting 130 pounds on there. So, I don't have much in there. Um, well, I have a lot of it. There. I'm going to lock it now and just kind of let it sit for a while. I already put my coat on there. So, hopefully it doesn't pop. That's the only thing I don't about car cases like this. It feels pretty light. Yeah, it feels pretty light. Um, it's not bad. It's locked. I'll show you the seams of it. This seam is pretty intact. This one has some spacing on it. Do I trust it? I don't know. I think it's gonna be okay. 